So omeprazole is a wonder drug that suppresses the production of stomach acid and is useful for the symptoms of indigestion such as heartburn, acid reflux and helps to heal stomach ulcers due to damage from causes like smoking, alcohol, spicy foods, medication, bacterial infection and other factors. Now I love eating Indian foods from time to time such as vindaloos and madras. So if I do remember, I do try and take omeprazole 20 milligrams to protect the lining of my stomach from inflammation. However, omeprazole can also cause problems that most people do not realize is due to the medication that they're taking. And this side effects can usually occur if you've been taking omeprazole for more than two years. So these are the side effects of taking long-term omeprazole. Vitamin B12 deficiency. By reducing the absorption of vitamin B12, look out for the symptoms of mouth ulcers, fatigue, muscle weakness, tingling of fingers or toes. Osteoporosis. Omeprazole can reduce bone density, increasing the risk of osteoporosis. This causes bone weakness, leading to fractures on light impact such as a fall or simply hitting your wrist against the table. Stomach cancer. Omeprazole can mask the symptoms of early stomach cancer, which is similar to indigestion, leading to delayed diagnosis. Bacterial overgrowth. By reducing stomach acid secretion, Omeprazole can encourage the growth of harmful bacteria in the gut, such as E. coli and Salmonella, leading to symptoms like diarrhea, nausea and vomiting. More common short-term side effects of Omeprazole are headaches, feeling sick, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, or signs of allergies such as rash, difficulty breathing, swelling of your face, and other symptoms. So if you're on long-term Omeprazole, i.e. you've been taking Omeprazole for maybe more than six months or a year or two, it's worth discussing with your doctor if you still need to be on the medication or perhaps you might need further investigation. Some people do need to be on long-term omeprazole if they're taking medications such as aspirin or oral steroids in order to protect the lining of your stomach. Or you might have conditions like hiatus hernia where surgery might not be indicated or you might not want to have surgery. So make sure you have regular medication reviews with your doctor. Now you can check out my other videos such as how to distinguish between the symptoms of indigestion and stomach cancer which can be quite similar. So please feel free to subscribe to my channel.